Hey, I'm Pamela and welcome to our Patriotic Summer Challenge. A few weeks ago, I posted an open invitation to um, just anyone on YouTube. A lot of the girls that I follow and the guys, uh, I just thought that they might like to participate in a little 4th of July Labor Day Memorial Day Challenge. It was to spend zero to ten dollars at a thrift store, a yard sale, a garage sale, a state sale, or just upcycle something that you already have in your home. Just don't spend more than ten dollars and you don't even have to spend any money. Um, it, I thought it would be fun because uh, the patriotic theme is something that you could use all summer long. And um, so if you saw that and you were planning to participate, there is a link in the description below that you can post or upload your video to. And if you're just seeing this, if you're new to my channel and you're just seeing this, or if you're seeing this on someone else's channel and you have something decorated in your house that you have thrifted and it's patriotic themed, you're more than welcome to upload your video to our playlist because we would love to see it. So um, I hope you all enjoy it and I, I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, I'll see you in a minute when I show you mine. Thanks. Okay, y'all, I couldn't film last night because a big storm came through, so now it's cloudy as I'll get out today. And, wouldn't you know it, my uh, bulb for the inside of the cabinet blew the second I turned the blame thing on. So, anyway, I put a regular light bulb in there, so I hope it don't burn nobody's retina, but we're going to try to look at this. Now, I'm just going to show you everything, and then I'll tell you what I got thrifting for my little uh challenge here okay now i have always collected um <clears throat> red transfer wear probably for about 40 years and i've got a lot 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 of it but i just have a few pieces of it displayed in here in this cabinet and i keep it in here all the time and then i just change out different things for the holidays or the seasons like the little knickknacks and whatnots in here so um up on the top here is a flag that i made as a diy and then this little blue uh, bowl here was my memo sanford's and um lord i can i don't know why i wanted that so bad but but that was the one of the things i i really wanted when she passed away so i've got a few of my you know my cherished items in here and display them and this picture right here is of my mom and daddy on a trip they took not long before my daddy passed away to the mountains and um this little guy right here is uh something that my mama made years and years ago out of a light bulb it's just to uncle sam and and she went to a class they was having up at the church. A lady came to teach them how to make them. And she made her a Uncle Sam. And there's just a few more pieces of my red transfer wear. And then um, these I've had for a long time too. I collect sterling silver. And I have ever since Kelly got married. When she got married, I gathered up a bunch. The whole, <clears throat> probably year and a half before she got married. To use at her reception and uh that rooster right there i wouldn't take nothing for it uh my daddy made that for me back in the uh early 80s when primitive was all the rage and everything kind of like farmhouse is now but then it was called primitive everything and um and i love him he made him for my pie save and uh this little red level right here belonged to my papa montgomery my uh, mama's daddy. He was a carpenter. And um, that's one of the things that I wanted from him. And now, all right, y'all hear me talking about my mama and my granny and everything all the time. Well, there has been five living generations in my family. When I was born, I made five. When Kelly was born, she made five and so on. But we, we lost it when my mama passed away. But this is um, one of the pictures we made at the 4th of July one year at our family cookout. And this is Kelly, of course. That's me. 
my mama, my mama's mama, Granny Montgomery, and my granny's mama, Mama Sanford. Now, y'all are hearing me talk about Mama Sanford and Granny a lot, and that's who I'm referring to right there. And, um, now this, um, this I've had, uh, a dear friend of my mama's that she went to, um, church with, well, they was born and raised together. She had an estate sale, um, her husband had Alzheimer's and they downsized, so her family had an estate sale and, um, she gave that to me. And, uh, so I, I love it and it's, let me see if I can get that thing out of here. It's, uh, Tiffany Delft, 1996. I don't know. They traveled a lot and looked pretty well also. I don't know where she might have come up with it or what, but she knew I collected transfer wear, and I guess she just thought transfer wear was transfer wear, but I wouldn't take nothing for that neither. Okay, and then down here, now this, just to add color back here, I have just put a little banner, just a little burlap banner that I got from the Family Dollar. And uh, just put it on them shelves back there, and then I just took the two ends of it off and laid it across this little white um, cake stand right here. Okay, and now this right here is my baby brother, Scott, my sister-in-law, Jennifer, my niece, Josie Grace, and Caleb. And this is the brother. Now, okay, this is my other brother, Mike. Now, there's 18 months difference in me and Mike, and there's 10 years difference in us and Scott. <laughs> but anyway, this is Mike with Kelly Michelle, uh, walking her down to the beach when she, her and Mark got married. And I just, I always love that picture. Um, and of course, there's another thing of flatware, and there's Mark and Kelly's engagement photo, and I just like that, because he's just looking at her like, he just loves her to death. <laughs> and, um, now this I bought in an estate sale several years ago, and I don't have the globe on it, because I couldn't put it in here with it on there. But that, I had never seen a transfer wear oil lamp. And, I mean, it's just got that on the bottom of it, says Ironstone. But, um, yeah, I don't know. And I've got a lot of white Ironstone, too. I collect it, but, you know, you just... You just can put so much everywhere. Oh, and I forgot to show you, too, my little books. I put Mom and Daddy's picture on. I just thrifted the red, white, and blue books uh, several years ago. Um, and I just keep them in my little Fourth uh, of July, my little patriotic uh, bin I've got with red, white, and blue stuff in. And then, um, now this is something, this... Um, blue plate here is something that I did thrift. Uh, I paid $3.88 for it at the uh, America's Thrift Store. And I think it measured 15 inches. I'm not sure. And I can't get get it off to show you the back of it with one hand, but it'll be in my uh, next haul video because I just got it the other week. And then um, there's some more of my red transfer wear. And then now this little this right here, y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but I've just got it sitting on top of a, a silver plated candlestick. But this bird nest, my mama had in our Christmas tree for years and years and years. And um, after she passed away and I was going through her uh, Christmas stuff and dividing it up between all of us, uh, I found it and got it out. And, uh, and I keep it out all the time. I move it around from room to room. I've even, you'll see some hot glue right there. I've even had it on a wreath before and took it off. But, uh, but yeah, I, I just, that's one of my things I love too. And, um, there's just some more of my pieces I collect. I just left them in there because, um, it just had a little shine to it. Just added a little shine and reflection there. And this is my other piece that I thrifted for this challenge. Now this was $2.88 at the America's Thrift Store. And I got this about two days before I got that big platter right there. And this was a lamp. A, uh, see the hole in the bottom there? And it came on that stand right there. See that stand's got a hole in the bottom of it. And I thought, well you know that'll be a pretty pop of red in my china cabinet for this challenge. And so I just took the blame thing apart. 
and uh I kind of like it. I mean, if it's when it's just sitting there, don't nobody know it's uh it was a lamp but me, you know. But anyway, that's my that's my little space and my little house is only 1100 feet. So, um oh, I forgot to show you up there. Now, that's my uh pint size uh dairy bottles in the original case and my sister-in-law Debbie, my brother Mike's wife got me that Lord, back in the 80s, when, again, when all the primitive stuff was in. And, um, that God Bless the USA sign I got at Family Dollar last year on clearance. And that rooster is just one of my mom's. She just collected roosters, and I just thought he'd look pretty up there for this. But, anyway, that's my little... Oh, and what I was going to say was my little house is so tiny that... Other than Christmas, just the other holidays, this is pretty much where I de do my decorating. Because the house is so small that if I went to decorating all over the house like I really wanted to, it would just take over. You know, I mean, there wouldn't be, there wouldn't be no room for nothing else because I, I go a little crazy. So, <laughs> anyway, I hope you like it and um, come back and check the playlist because um, there should be some other people uploading their uh, little patriotic spots and vignettes and places uh, along all day this afternoon and possibly sometime tomorrow. So, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, y'all. Bye.